Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 11th. You know the timing is fluid, and I've found that uh, they've been, these been happening anywhere from the day up till a week later. I had a reading pop up for me yesterday. Um, very odd. It was from March 7th, 2020. It was a daily vibe, and it March 7th, okay, 2020, and it came up next, okay, in a video, you know, one of my next, so I watched it, <laughs> wow, March 7th of all days, so anyhow, we're going to go ahead and uh, do this reading and see what comes up, so what do we have, what do we have for a message today? Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is about independence, abundance. This is, I mean, the Nine of Pentacles I consider is like the Empress and the Minor and the Minor Arcana. So, this is like somebody that is very worthy, knows their value, picks themselves up from rock bottom. This is like a business owner or somebody that works very, very hard to be successful. This is somebody that uh, is very determined to be successful and doesn't need anybody to complete them. This is a doer, uh, very self-sufficient and independent individual. You know, uh, this person loves themselves, puts themselves first. Uh, very, very comfortable, living a comfortable life, uh, not struggling. This person is not struggling financially because they work so hard. So this is a hard worker right here that is very determined to succeed and doesn't rely on other people to uh, complete them or provide for them. This is an independent person who does it by themselves. Strength reversed. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Cups. So somebody has missed an opportunity. They ignored an opportunity for love, right? They ignored it. They didn't want it. They didn't take it. They 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 let it slip by. You know, it was offered to them, but they decided that they didn't want it. Now they may be sulking, you know, they may be sulking, they may be pouting, they may be crying. You know, we have somebody here that may be even having some sort of regrets or something like that. This person is discontent, not happy, sad. Uh, but this is, this, this is moving into independence. So there's, there, we could have somebody here that has chosen to be independent. They have chosen to go their own way. They're not looking for love. Looks like somebody's not looking for love at all. Not interested. Uh, doing quite well. This is somebody who's living a very comfortable life on their own. This strength card is weakness, though. It's weakness. And this is putting in effort, hard work, 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 work. Somebody is really working really, really hard to heal from something. This is lack of healing, needing to heal, heal. Happiness. We have the hangman reversed and the king of wands reversed. So the hangman reversed is seeing things differently, needing to see things differently. But typically this person is refusing to go in, has a point to prove, mis misinformed. 
self-centered, self-righteous, unreasonable, sacrificing themselves, wasting time. We have somebody here that is very, very focused on their job for one thing. Very, very focused on uh, maybe, I don't know if this is a business owner or what. Anyhow, there's an opportunity for happiness here or this wouldn't be here. Extreme happiness. I'm wondering if we have like a coward. There's some sort, because this one knows, if you think of two different people, and I do think it's two different people, this person is very comfortable, abundant, has plenty, not lacking for anything, is very, very happy, this person over here is not happy, okay? This is angry, um, egotistical, very egotistical. We have somebody here. This person is a worker as well, but they're two different people. This is somebody that is very egotistical, very much uh, trying to prove something. Somebody's trying to prove something, and it's not in the right manner, okay? It's not. Somebody isn't learning their lesson, okay? This is not learning a lesson, refusing to learn anything, repeating the same mistakes, never seeing things different, differently, will not change, refuses to change. There's some sort of illness here as well with that strength card reversed. There's control issues, okay? Somebody is very, very controlling, Ace of Wands reversed. Now, Ace of Wands reversed is something going south. Maybe their work is going south. Their job is going south. You know, if somebody, if this is a boss or if it is a business owner or uh, some, whoever this person is, they're, 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 whatever they're doing is going in the wrong direction. It's, it's, it's. It's definitely petering out, okay? It is. It's not uh, coming to fruition. Something isn't growing. And, it, and there's stubbornness here. So we have somebody here that is extremely stubborn as well. But anyway, something, maybe their, their money isn't growing or they're not, whatever they're working on isn't going anywhere. There's no growth. This person is uh, very self-centered and... Uh, Unreasonable. Definitely. We have an unreasonable individual here who is trying to work on something that isn't growing. It's just not growing. And this person is unwilling to change. It's like they're, it's almost like they're, and, and, and it's stressing them out. It's making them ill. It's like they're trying to make something grow that isn't going to grow. Maybe it's a relationship. It feels like the, it feels like the, somebody is missing an opportunity with somebody that is abundant. Not seeing that there's an opportunity for love because there's so there's stubbornness here and egotism. This is somebody that is obsessed with control. We have somebody here that is absolutely obsessed with control. They are. But tens are completions, so I think that they're, that we have, it's interesting. This person over here is quite comfortable by themselves, enjoying life really not looking for a relationship, which is interesting. Oh, we got two. Now this is blocking, blocking emotions, blocking feelings, refusing to accept the truth, refusing to see the truth, ignoring the truth. So there's somebody here that is ignoring the truth. Absolutely. About their heart, about what their heart wants. 
So somebody is ignoring what their heart wants. They're blocking their emotions. Their heart is flooding with emotions right now. Their feelings are all over their place, over the place. They're trying to block them. They're trying to deny their feelings, but I feel like they're having a very hard time doing so. This is a flood of emotion trying to deny them, trying to push them down. So yeah, somebody's trying to push down their emotions. They're trying to block them. Ignoring. Ignoring the opportunity for love. Somebody has an opportunity for love that they are absolutely ignoring. And they're, it is, they're ignoring it because of egotism or... Uh, well, this is lack of drive, lack of ambition, lack of confidence. Uh, pride. There's some sort of pride that is in the way. Anyhow, there is an opportunity for love and happiness. Look at where I put them. Interesting. There's a with this person right here. So we have somebody here that is very capable of success. We have a hard worker over here who isn't looking. This is like that little Miss Independent. You know, there's an opera. This this person that is doing very very well, that is not interested. Definitely, I'm not interested in love. It looks like there's a love opportunity coming for this person that could lead to something permanent. It could lead to permanent love. This person is looking at an opportunity for permanent love. But there's fear here. There's fear. There's fear of, of uh, letting somebody in. There's weakness. We have we have a weak individual here on this side. This is a weak individual who doesn't have the drive or the ambition or the uh, desire to put in effort, which is interesting. This person is working, working, blocking their emotions, burying themselves in work to uh, push their emotions down. You know, this person is is basically work, 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 work to uh, deny. You know, it's an it's an it's an outlet to deny their feelings. Um, this Ace of Wands reversed is being weighed down. Somebody is being weighed down right now. It's like they're being held back. This person doesn't, it has no vision of the, you know, isn't focusing on the future. Maybe in a dark place. Somebody has to make a stressful decision. They have to make a decision about what their heart wants. But they're struggling really, really. This is a huge struggle. Somebody is struggling really, really hard to honor what their heart wants. Their heart wants this right here. They want this opportunity for happiness. They want stability. They want uh, abundance. That's what they want. That's what the heart wants, but they're tied to something that they can't find the strength to break free from. They can't find their willpower. They can't, this is somebody that lacks uh, ambition, right? interesting there's definitely a level of indecision here we have somebody that um, is very stressed out they're avoiding the truth they're avoiding listening to their heart they're not listening to their heart
Three of Cups reversed. There could be a third party involved, you know, third party interference. Now, Three of Cups reversed is this party is over. There's a termination. There's a lack of emotional growth. This is parting ways. So somebody has to make a decision. They have to make a decision in regards to who they want to part ways with. You know, but this person, with the hangman reverse, this is a huge struggle. Somebody is struggling with, they may be worried about what their friends are going to say or their family is going to say if they follow their heart. You really need to follow your heart. Don't worry about what anybody else says. At the end, it's all about you. It's all about you. You have to do what's right for you. And you have to do what's right for your heart. You have to do what's what's going to make you happy in the end. Don't deny yourself love and stay attached to somebody that you're not attracted to. Or that you don't have a desire to be with. This is hard work. It's hard work, okay, to uh, break free from something that is blocking your happiness. So there is some, there's like a third party interference here that is stopping somebody from love. It is, it's sad. It is, and it is sad. It is very sad. Um, and it's because this person that is, uh, sacrificing themselves is weak. This is a coward. This is somebody that is weak. Five of Cups. Five of Cups. This is a breakup. Okay, there's going to be a split here. That's a breakup card, Five of Cups. But this is this is crying over a loss, not realizing that there's another opportunity for love waiting. Somebody is is moping and 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 focusing on something that is already gone. There's another opportunity that is being missed. There's no doubt about it. None. There's, there's crying as well. I mean, there could be some crying that is coming up, okay? Because this is tears, sadness, after a separation, grieving a loss. This is nothing to celebrate, okay? The Three of Cups reversed. This is parting ways. Somebody's parting ways. This is a painful, stressful decision to break free from something. Somebody, and I think they've been struggling really hard, very stressed out. Somebody's been struggling, but this is an opportunity for love. This is like seeing the light. This is complete bliss. I'm going my own way. So somebody has been on the fence about separating. But there's an opportunity for huge, this is extreme bliss. So this is Five of Cups is grieving, grieving over a loss. Mourning, deep sorrow. There's no growth here. This this is a uh, what's sad. It is sad, but there is an opportunity for love that is being missed. 
you're going to have to uh, accept. You have to accept Nine of Wands reverse. This is giving up. That is giving up. Somebody is going to be giving up. They're going to be giving up. They can't, they don't have any, and it feels like they don't have any desire to fight anymore. They've lost their willpower to fight. There's some great personal fear here. We have somebody here that is very, very, very fearful. And they're angry. There's anger. Okay, this is angry. Right here, they're angry. They're very, very angry. They're upset. This is somebody that keeps repeating negative patterns that is very disagreeable and extremely stubborn. We have somebody here that is extremely stubborn. Stubbornness doesn't bring make you happy. Uh-uh. Extreme pride here. Extreme pride. So somebody's pride... Is affecting their happiness, which sucks. It really does suck. But that Ace of Cups is is a feeling of love. It's a flood of emotion. Somebody is feeling very, very, very emotional about an opportunity for a relationship. It's almost like they see, but they've been ignoring. They've been they, their heart. They know what their heart wants. They know what they need to do, but they've been ignoring it. Somebody is definitely not happy. They are not happy at all. They may have some family members. There's, there could be some family members or some friends that are giving them some poor advice. We also have somebody here that is burned out. They're burned out. It's like they don't have any... This is no life. You know? They don't... This is no life. I'm sorry, but that's what I see. Somebody is going to be making a decision. This is like part ways. Somebody is parting ways. judgment reconciliation there's a chance for a reconciliation here there is this is this is, this is the end of things Now, judgment, if you think about judgment day it 's the end it 's the end where you release and you ask for forgiveness. This is being judged, truth being revealed, karma being held accountable, responsibility being assigned. About, are you ready? I mean, this is about being accepted. Will you be accepted? Somebody may be fearful, extremely fearful of being accepted. And maybe that's why they've stayed. They've stayed in this hellish situation because they were fearful of being accepted. Judgment is coming. Judgment. Judgment it could be legal. It could be some legal judgment that is coming. Responsibility is about to be in, assigned. Judgment is a wake-up call. It's an awakening. It's an epiphany. Somebody may get some sort of epiphany that they need to follow their heart. Now, this is, the judgment can be somebody from the past. 
okay? Somebody from the past that is guiding somebody, you know, home. That's coming from, and I do know where it's coming from. Um, but anyhow, um, this is this is a. Uh, what do you think about? It? That's like an angel up there. But anyhow, this is release, accept, This is a life-changing decision. This is, this is like being judged for action. Somebody's, you know, about to be held accountable for their actions. This is karma. So I feel like today we have somebody here that is making a life-changing decision that they have been ignoring, right? They've been ignoring, they've been blocking. They've been blocking themselves. They've been in some sort of denial. They've been moping, they've been crying. There's some sort of deep sorrow here, right? But this is no life. There's no desire to stay. And there's a lot of anger here. So we have somebody here that is angry with, with what life has handed them. This is somebody, you know, that is has hard feelings. Very, very wounded. Has had to fight a really tough battle. But anyway, I feel like there's, there's some sort of... Uh, New opportunity here because the Ace of Cups is new love or a, or a reconciliation. I don't know if it, it, that's what it looks like to me. It's either a new opportunity for love or there's an opportunity for a reconciliation here with somebody that, you know, I don't know what. They hurt in the past. Hurt in the past. But they're going to, whoever this person, that somebody's going to have to swallow their pride and maybe ask for forgiveness and accept responsibility. Could be dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with... We have Leo, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius over here. Either way, we have somebody that ha has been grieving over a loss. Or there's going to be some grieving over a loss. Okay, that could be coming. Somebody is parting ways. It is. This party is over. This party is over. I feel like we have somebody here that is very sick as well. Very, very, very sick. Anyhow, I feel like... Uh, Oh, this is the end of things. Good luck.